Hello everyone, welcome to Baidu's exam prep. Hope you guys are fine and guys, today I came to you guys with an important notification. Yes, you can see behind me that we have got a vacancies, not a vacancies, actually multiple number of vacancies from Ritz, which is a mini Ratna company, a government of India enterprise. So guys, civil engineers, you don't need to get disappointed because right now, if your gate was not that pretty good, then also they are not taking or they are not recruiting on the basis of gate score. They are conducting their separate paper and you guys can apply for it. So let's check it out, the total notification, what it is trying to say, what is the post, what is the paper, everything is. Come on guys. So let's be quick. First of all, let me talk about the number of posts which you are having. It's in short total is 30. For unreserved, that is general category, it is 18. OBC, it is 8. SC, it is 4 post. Okay. Now coming further, this is not on contractual basis. This post is for the recruitment of engineering professionals on regular basis. Okay. So make it sure that you know that this is not on contractual basis. Coming up next, let me talk about uh, the designation and pay scale. The pay scale ranges from 40,000 to 1 lakh 40,000. What is the minimum qualification which is required is you should have a full-time degree of civil engineering that is full-time bachelor's degree if you have mtech that's also okay but minimum i'm talking about because otherwise you will be commenting ma'am is mtech also fine so here that's why this word is written minimum qualification required is bachelor's degree in civil engineering uh then one more thing is that after your degree if you have a qualifier qualification experience of two years that's also required uh, so that and uh, in which field so basically they want the experience to be in the construction field so if you are more into construction supervision that is also required along with your civil engineering degree now coming for the uh, are talking about uh, even if you have a degree so you should have a minimum 60 percent marks okay if more it's okay but at least it should have 60 percent marks if you are from under reserve or ews category and if you are from reserve category minimum at least 50 percent marks is required okay now that uh, regular information that uh, your educational qualification degrees should be recognized by aicte uh, that's very much pretty normal and uh, now coming up next talking about the whole procedure of selection so first of all uh, you have to apply for this post okay so candidates which we're talking about for appearing in the written test it can be offline it can be online okay now here experience weightage out of the total 100 percent weightage experience will be given 5% weightage, written test will be given 60% weightage and interview will be given 35% weightage. Okay, now next coming further, next coming further if I talk about, so interview as I told you, interview is 35% and this interview also they have further bifurcated, first is technical and professional proficiency, they have given 25% and your personality, the way of communication and everything they have given 10%, so 25 and 10 will make 35%. Okay, next coming further, uh, when you talk about uh, uh, whether it will be offline or online, so you know that during the time of pandemic and all it was uh, online papers, now we have offline papers. So everything will be told to you for the further upcoming notifications. But right now they have told you that they are conducting the separate paper. They are not taking on the basis of gate, square, gate score. The other thing is they require minimum two years of experience on the construction supervision field. Now, Coming further, what will be the pattern? So let's talk about the pattern. So here they have already mentioned, if you guys can check it out. Here they have mentioned that there will be 125 objective questions. Okay, all objective questions, nothing conventional, nothing like that. 125 objective questions and 2.5 hours. That means 150 minutes and 125 objective questions. The best part is, here no marks will be negative or you can say no negative marking is there so there is written already they have mentioned no marks will be deducted in case of negative okay so how much you are able to solve do it Otherwise you can mark it because there is no fear of negative marking okay uh, now appointment last thing uh, we have it obviously that's pretty much normal that medical test is being conducted for sure so the final appointment will be based on your um, your medically fit or not so uh, on that category it will be fixed and uh, like uh, you have other force of pw candidates so for that it is written that what is the physical requirements and all so that's written 
okay now the more the important thing is here first of all when you get selected and you are appointed the first year of yours will be a probation period after one year you will be made permanent okay talking about the posting so they can post you anywhere in india there is no hard and fast that they'll give you your hometown no there is nothing like that okay now candidates after you clear your one year of probation period you have to go for the screening test okay and those who will qualify the uh, screening test they will be appointed full time otherwise who fail to do that okay their probation period will be extended got this this is the thing you need to know and uh, next is what important uh, thing is uh, yeah talking about the remuneration i told you the range 40000 and all that to, up to the 1 lakh and all that i have told you apart from this like basic in a government undertaking psus you have those additional benefits like da fixed variable allowances performance rated pay medical facilities hra so you have all those things gratuity everything will be given to you okay apart from the basic pay so basic pay will be there but apart from the basic pay all these facilities will be given to you talking about other facilities this is also given leaves cl casual leaves medical leaves earned leaves government holidays weekends everything will be there and minimum they are telling you so the minimum they are telling you apart from all the added benefits the approximate which you will be getting uh, amount of money that is the ctc this will be 13.76 lpa okay so in uh, uh, drd or isro we were getting around 12 okay uh, minimum so here you are getting around 13.76 lpa this is the starting package i'm talking about okay so here uh, you have to basically now talking about how to apply so you have to go amount of fees which you have to apply for online op- application that is general and obc 600 rupees plus taxes will be there this is excluding taxes ews sc st pw d candidates will be 300 rupees they have to pay plus taxes okay if you have any difficulty if your form is not uploading any errors is coming you can mail them they have a help desk number also okay that's it uh, and the general information they have written that uh, candidate should not uh, should know that the fee submitted through any other mode except the mode specified so they will have specified that whether it is a through net banking or a particular mode particular gateway that will be only accepted if you apply any other method they will not be accepted okay now even if you apply they will not be treated as they will be treated as without fee that means you haven't submitted now how to apply first of all you should have a 2 years of experience you should have a b degree you should have minimum 60% after that you can go to the sites http uh, double dot slash www.rits.tes.com okay so here you have the options of registration number and all you can fill it there here you have to uh, submit all the documents whichever is re- required and it's very much important that you read all the things which is asking for okay after filling it you have to fill modify application form if you want to do it or you can make the payment okay that's the whole procedure which they have asked for and other than that they have asked for the scanned copies of high school degree obviously it's required okay passport size photos so all the data is given to you so this is the things which are being required and if you are applying for uh, let us suppose uh, if uh, you are a category 1 uh, so you have to submit that category certificate also that's very much important so don't say afterward ma'am that time i forgot i didn't found the option so if it is like that you have been given the help desk number ask to them that's better than regretting it afterwards that's better okay so that's the uh, that's the all things which you need to know and none other that you can apply and every other detail is being written to you talking about the written test where it will be held so it's not all over india in every places it is happening no written test is there in six different cities delhi kolkata chennai mumbai hyderabad nagpur okay delhi and uh, the uh, gurgaon they have told tentative they will let you know about it okay so these six cities are there in which this written test will be conducted 125 questions 150 minutes talking about interview they let you know that the venue to the shortlisted candidate candidates obviously the mail will come at what place what venue what time they have to come but before that while filling the form make sure that you have to adopt for any of the six cities while you appear for the paper okay so exam dates will be communicated to the shortlisted candidates the best part about this is they have given the syllabus also so actually what happens maximum times you are not aware with the syllabus but here every syllabus is given to you general aptitude knowledge awareness that's very much common talking about other things so guys see 
surveying all the practical knowledge things they have asked you surveying they have mentioned n number of things okay then they have mentioned about surveying this is like from here trigonometric leveling uh, total stations this is regarding surveying contours everything regarding surveying types of curves everything okay now talking about now talking about aerial photogrammetry also they have mentioned then they have mentioned regarding geotechnical engineering classification of soil modified proctor test everything is coming again see even the foundation part is also coming to you pile foundation stability of slopes everything is coming here okay after that here here you don't have estimation and costing in your gate and all but here they have asked questions regarding estimations and costing because they have give they, are, they may ask you because obviously they have given this in their syllabus so syllabus also they have asked regarding estimation and costing analysis of rates everything tenders tender documents everything has been asked so this is an added thing which you have to study but i don't think this is very much tough because obviously we have already studied for our semester examinations okay now talking about beams part everything is there so we have som also and we have rcc also so types of support shear force bending moment everything is there deflections columns and centric load every other thing was also there okay you can go through this every other thing is there then here see we have got what survey was there geotech is there foundation part is also there then we have som is there rcc is there then you can see it here you can see it here plate girder welded joints everything is there that means steel is also coming then classification of highways types of survey cross section that means transportation is there building materials is also the ccbr california bearing ratio test is there everything is there for you guys okay now talking about do we have railway and airport yes we have railway airport also so you can see the best part you can say that uh, there are these many subjects only so here what are the things you don't have you don't have environment you don't have hydrology you don't have irrigation even you don't have fm here right <laughs> fluid mechanics also is not here so we have basically construction work related things only we have so we have surveying here then we have building materials here geotechnical engineering along with foundation part som is there uh, basically rcc is there uh, then talking about further you have steel here uh, then 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 next we have hydro this transportation engineering we have airport and we have railway because you can see sleepers ballast fastening is also there so we have these many syllabus okay so the syllabus is slightly concise if you talk about gate or if you are about tsc syllabus and this is the best part so now you know what you have to study so that you don't have to go for n number of sources syllabus is predefined and it is pretty much concise so every other uh, instructions they have mentioned number of vacancies now they have told 30 it can be more also so the number of vacancies will may vary and eligibility <coughs> excuse me okay eligibility and all is being mentioned to you so that's all guys last but not the least talking about the details uh, about the last dates so the commencement of submission of online application and payment fees have already been started that is 26th may and the last date will be 25th may okay so date of selection and all will be told to you later or you can go through their site and you will get to know but it has already been started 26th may today is the 30th may last date will be 25th june so try to figure it out if you fall in this you have an uh, educational qualification along with that you have experience then guys do go do go for this sport it's very much good okay it's uh, you are you are being provided with n number of facilities pay scale as i told you that is also very much good you are getting a very handsome salary 13.7 uh, 13 point some lakhs was there 13.76 lakhs approximately will be the package so pretty decent package is also there okay so do uh, if you fall in this category so do attend or basically do apply for this examination and for further upcoming videos subscribe to byju's exam thank you everybody